All right. Welcome back to the next part of the Learn English with we'll say, and I'm here at the exercise number six. Exercise number six. Choose the most appropriate options for the informal letter. There may be more than one possible answer. So if there is like, you can choose one, or you can choose two, you can choose three, or you can choose four. But you cannot choose five because there is no answer is five. Okay, so first one, start the letter with Hi Mike, Dear Mike, or Dear Sir. First, I want to explain to you, Dear Sir, no, Dear Sir is only for the formal letter. Formal letter, you cannot write Dear Friend, no. You cannot write Hi Friend, you cannot write like that. Only in in um, informal letter, you can only write Hi Mike or Dear Mike. Okay, so dear sir will be not allowed in the for informal letter. Second one, finish the letter with, is it right soon, awaiting for your reply, I look forward to hearing from you, or bye. First one, I look forward to hearing from you, it is only for the, in, or for the full formal letter. Why? Like, you write a letter to the receptionist or you write a letter to the head or to the master of the company you cannot write with the right soon or you cannot write with the bye bye no they will not they will uh uh they will think that you can you didn't show them respect so we have to show them respect like you have to write uh i look forward to hearing from you or you can write Waiting for your reply in the formal letter. So in the informal letter, you can only write write soon or bye. Okay, that is the most informal thing you can write in the informal letter. Okay, that's what that was the finish of the letter. Okay, so next one. Before you sign your name, before you sign your name, where is it? Before you sign your name, this is the place you just you sign your name. You sign your name over here, but before you sign your name, it is over here. You say what? You say best wishes, yours faithfully, on the best, or regards. Okay, best wishes. That is really good in the informal letter. Like you wishing somebody, you wishing somebody um like that. Best wishes. Like wish you luck, wish you happy, wish you tall. No. Like that means really short before that wish you taller uh, kind of thing. Uh, okay, yours faithfully. You can only write in the formal letter. Like yours sincerely, yours faithfully, something like that. All the best. Maybe I will. Okay, all the best. Like you wishing everybody, wishing them luck, luckiness, happiness, uh, straightness, healthiness, something like that. And as you can also say regards, like some sending somebody regards with regards with the lucky thing. Yes. Okay. And the next one, number four. You should use full forms. I am, or you should use contracted forms like I'm. Firstly, in full forms, you can only write it in the formal letter because rules are rules you cannot uh, you cannot uh, uh, obey the rules no you cannot do like that for the formal letter you must use full forms like she is he is they are but in the informal letter you can use she's he's they are there they they are there okay uh I'm like that that those are called called the contracted forms or you can say it's short forms okay so you should use short forms contracted forms like I'm am I'm in the informal letter okay number five you can use or you shouldn't use informal and colloquial language like 
mates rather than friends. You shouldn't use or you can use. You can use or absolutely you can use because informal and colloquial language much prefer in the informal letter than the formal letter. If you write in the formal letter, they will think that, like I have told you, you, you don't show them respect. Okay? You cannot write mates or short words or slang words in the, um, in the formal letter. Don't show them respect. But you can use it in the formal, informal letter. Because you can write to your friends as uh, your mates, your family member, your maybe something that is important to you. Okay, uh, like you show them friendly, friendliness. Okay, so with those tips, you can use to write a complete informal letter. Okay, so let's. Give it a try in the exercise number seven. What do they tell us to do? Okay, so I have finished the exercise number six. Move through the seven exercise. You're going to spend a week at the home of British exchange students. Write a letter about 120 words to 150 words to him or her. First one, you need to introduce himself. You uh, introduce yourself. Yourself. And give some information about your family. Yes, about your age, your name, and your family member. What do they do for short? Okay, give some information about your hobbies. Like, what do you like? What do you love? What do you love eating? What do you like uh, for in your free time? What do you do? Okay, ask about your town, the town you are going to stay in, like size, the size of room, the things to do. We're gonna do, we're gonna take part, something like that, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Tell him or her about your travel arrangements and ask who will meet you at the airport. Okay. Like who will, who will pick you up, who will pick you up at the airport, who will take you home. Okay. So, with those things, after you write, you must check your writing, check your work, right over here. And have you included the information in the text of exercises number seven? Have you written the correct number of words? Have you checked your spelling and grammar? If you put those boxes ticked, then your writing will be completely perfect. Remember. You need to check after you write, okay? So that, this has concluded our ex lesson of a learning. Let's work for see tonight's lesson. Thank you so much for watching our lesson for tonight. And hope you guys will review this tonight's lesson. It is in Unit 1G. And remember to write. Try to write, okay? Then next week, Prepare for your next week's lesson. It is the unit two. Brand new unit. We'll talk about looking back. With the 2A vocabulary and listening, how did you feel? We'll talk about feelings, okay? Feelings of yours. So, review 1G and prepare 2A. I'm for say this is a learning English word for say. Goodbye and good night. Thank you so much.